Good afternoon. Today's video is the beginning of my declutter series. Today we're going to do eyebrows, eye primers, eyeliners, and mascara. <laughs> Those are all going to be kind of chunked together and we'll see what else we can get into today, but that's where we're going to start. I think that'll be the easiest. It's the smallest part of my collection and we'll move from there into blush, bronzer, highlight, foundation, possibly lip products. I have a lot of lip products. I don't even think this is all of them. I tend to not get rid of my lip products. You know, I just, I kind of just hold on to them kind of like my eyeshadow palettes, unless it's like a really, really, really bad formula. I don't tend to declutter those. So we may go through it anyway, just kind of give it a scan and see if there is anything that I'm kind of over now. So that may be included as well, but today we're going to get started with the smallest hopefully simplest part of the collection. And let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, for our first pile of things, I have eye primers and eyebrow products. We're gonna go ahead and start with the eye primers. I'm just gonna kind of move through, pick out the things I know I want. If I'm getting rid of something, I'll let you know why, or let you know why I'm keeping it. Of course, my Juvia's and my Anastasia eye primers I'm keeping. These are brand new as of like three days ago. So these are definitely, definitely staying as well as my Mac paint pot in painterly. Definitely keeping that. Then I have these color tattoos. I have four of these. Two of them are more like eyeshadow. These are actually like shimmery. They're really, really pretty in the shade front runner and high roller. I'm going to keep these and I'm going to keep the two I bought in kind of like the matte shades and VIP and urbanite. I was hoping these would be like the paint, uh, the, yeah, the Mac paint pots and they're pretty close. So I am keeping all four of these. These are newer to my collection. Now for the rest of these, my belief beauty is my favorite one from the drugstore as of right now. And without having tested some of these other ones. So I am going to keep this one, but I'm really enjoying some of those other ones. So this may stay in the rotation or this may eventually go, but I am going to keep this one for now. Okay. These were two that I was trying to pan for a while and I have to mix them together because I prefer a color to my eye primer to, you know, cancel out veins and redness. So I mix them together and honestly with the ones I have right now, this is just a lot more hassle than it's worth. So these two are going to go. And this is my Burt's Bees. I just got this at Walmart in the clearance section and it looked like it was going to be like the cream shadows and the and the paint pot but it is completely clear there is no color to this I've not even put this on my eyes I just kind of swatched it so I think somebody else can use that if they're looking for an eye primer because I I know that I will never pick this up so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it without even trying it I don't normally do that but that is something I know I'm never going to use over the products I already have now this is actually not the matte putty eye primer. I despised the matte putty eye primer. I actually scraped it out and put my <laughs> glitter glue in here when my bottle from NYX broke. So that's what's in here is my glitter glue. It is a NYX primer, NYX glitter primer mixed with an e.l.f. glitter primer. I think this is going off a little bit. It's supposed to be in a squeezy tube. The NYX one is supposed to be in a squeezy tube and my squeezy tube broke. And so I put it in here. So now every time I use it, I have to open it and I think it's kind of gone off. I'm keeping this for right now, but I am going to try and find another NYX primer, glitter primer, and this will go once I find a new one. So keeping for now, but this will be leaving, going into the trash before too long. So for primers, I'm just getting rid of these three and I'm keeping all the rest. These two are clear and this one's just okay. So these are all going bye-bye. Now for these eyebrow products, there's a lot. I didn't realize there were so many until I have them all laying together. Well, I don't know where to start, so we're just going to start. <laughs> I went through my backups yesterday. I have a whole bin of like backup products. And so some of these newer products you're going to see came from there. I'm getting rid of the open one. I'm going to keep the new one. This is the Sephora Brow Builder in the shade Nutmeg Brown. And I actually have this also in Blonde honey blonde. I'm going to keep both of these. They're pretty nice. This is the kind of product that I don't have to use a pencil or a pomade with. I can just go in with this. It's kind of a gel and 
pomade all in one. And there are the shades. One's a little darker. I go back and forth depending on the time of year. So I'm going to keep both of those. Oh my goodness. So many products. Okay. I'm keeping this Estee Lauder brow now. It's just a clear brow gel. I'm going to go ahead and keep this Ardell brow building fiber gel. This is the shade dark brown. And normally I don't wear dark brown, but I got this from Dollar Tree and I've worn it a time or two and it actually looks pretty nice. If I'm kind of, again, kind of that very light underneath, just want to coat the hairs a little bit. So I'm going to keep that. This e.l.f. brow shape and stay brow pencil. It's just like that brow wax. I think I've only even used this one time. I'm not familiar with it, so I'm going to keep this to use. All right. Both of my essence make me brows. This was, this is actually a repurchase in Blondie Brows. This is the second tube of this I've owned. This is the Brownie Brows, soft Brownie Brows. I just kind of forget I have this. I do like this one and I like this color, but I kind of forget that this is in here. So I need to pull these out. They're very good. They remind me of the Elf Wow Brow, that same kind of fiber texture to it. So all three of these are staying. Drugstore, very, very inexpensive. Highly recommend all of those. Uh, I think this e.l.f. powder and, what was it, a powder and pomade kind of together. I've had this. I think this was the first brow product that I bought when I started watching YouTube. And that was a long time ago. So I think I can probably part with this. Same for this. This is just a brow powder. I don't even know what brand this is. The sticker came off. So I don't like things that have a screw top like this. Like these, my shadows and, you know, eye primers I will use like that. But other products, I just don't reach for. Like I have a couple of ColourPop items, blushes, highlighters. I hardly ever use them. I just don't like this method of opening a product. Petty, yes, but I am going to get rid of this. Okay, let's see. <laughs> out of all the things I've picked out of here, I've only gotten rid of two so far. So let's see what else we can get rid of here. Okay, this I'm going to get rid of. This is the Sephora Gel Illumin Brow Highlighter Gel. That's not a joke. This has like glitter in it. I used it a couple of times. I don't know if you can tell, but it has, I don't think you can tell. It's like metallic looking. So I thought, okay, cool. I'll use like a regular brow product and then kind of go over the ends of the hairs with this, but straight up there's glitter in this product. And then it looks like I have glitter in my eyebrows. So that is going to go. There's a lot going on outside today, so hopefully it's not all too loud. If so, we'll figure it out. But <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> okay. Now this I'm actually like loving right now. It's one of those, I think it's almost like a brow soap. You have this in today. I've really been enjoying this product, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Okay, now all of these little brow pencils here, I'm keeping all of these. I have two Milani ones, one in caramel and one in soft brown. I have a Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in warm brown. Zoeva in, I don't know what shade, but it's this shade right here on the top. Sephora in the shade Rich Chestnut. And this Elf Instant Lift in taupe. I'm going to keep all of these. All of these brow pencils are a daily use item for me, so I am keeping all of these. They will all be used up eventually. This brow gel, I just opened a new one out of my backups because I think this one, here's the brand new one. The other one seems to still have product in it. This is the exact same thing. The writing's all like worn off. And I don't feel like this holds like it used to. Like it's just kind of putting water through the brows at this point and it used to work really well. So I busted out my new one here and I'm going to try that one. So I'm keeping the new one and I'm actually going to get rid of this old one. I think it's trash. And this other brow stylist I have in the shade blonde. I am also keeping this Maybelline tattoo studio, warm brown, just the brow gel. This looks very, very similar to the Sephora ones where you don't really need to have anything underneath. So I think I'm going to get rid of this because I have two shades of the Sephora and this actually has a really strong smell. It always did. It has a, I don't even know how to describe it, but kind of chemically, but kind of like bubble gum. That's kind of what it smells like. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one. 
while we're on the Maybelline Tattoo Studio, I have the pomade in the shade 370 Light Blonde. I actually really like this one. I really like the shade of this. This one is staying. The CoverGirl Pomade. It's a very similar shade. I also like this one, so I'm going to keep this. The shade 720. I do alternate between pencils, powders, pomades, just depending on the day, depending on the week. I like to have a variety because I do switch it up. This Becca pomade is actually really new to me. This is the Shadow and Light Brow Contour Mousse in Cocoa. It's kind of like a brow thing, and I don't know what this is meant to be. This looks like an under eye corrector. I don't think that would be with a brow product, so maybe it's for like under, maybe it's for like cleaning up the brows. But I've used it. I try to use it under my eyes, and I use that for the brows. This is still pretty new, so I'm going to keep it, but I feel like the brow product in here didn't last very long on my brows. So this may be in the next declutter, depending on how this goes between now and then, but I am going to keep this for now. I do know I am getting rid of, absolutely, this Revlon Color Stay Brow Shape and Glow. This is a couple weeks old in my collection. I got it from TJ Maxx. So maybe that's why, maybe it's already dried out, but the pen part on this, I was excited to try a pen. I can do half of a brow and it is absolutely done and I can't do anything else. So that is going, that is useless to me. The other side is just a little like highlighting powder for your brow. I wasn't excited about that to begin with, but I was excited about the pin. Worst brow product I've ever tried getting rid of that. Absolutely. I am going to keep both of these Milani powder kits. I feel like powders last, you know, forever in these. They're both good. And I do use these to fill in my brows. I also really like these to fill in my hairline. I have like a really tight ponytail in or something. I actually put these in there and it's either one. I kind of, whichever one I have grabbed out and they actually work really well because they're not super, super, super pigmented. So it actually looks really like natural and just kind of disguises my scalp a little bit. So I am keeping both of these brow kits. I have two of these julep pencils. I have one in medium brown and one in light brown. The light brown one I'm going to keep. This is very similar to the e.l.f. pencil, the Instant Lift, the chunkier one. This has a spoolie on the other end and it actually has a brow pomade, which is very dried out. I've had these for a while, so that's pretty dried out, but I am going to keep this and use the pencil part. The other one in medium brown is actually really, really dark and I have to be really, really careful with this. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It's just I have so many other brow pencils and there's the gel on that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one because it is just way, way, way too dark for me. This I'm going to get rid of the brow stylist. I just don't outline my brows or highlight the brow bone much. And this side's looking a little bit chunky. Like it's not quite smooth like it used to be. So I am going to get rid of this. I just don't use this kind of product. Okay. I have three more pomades here and a pencil. Now, I am keeping the e.l.f. pomade in taupe. I really, really like this one. Now, I also have the pomade in light brown, which I used forever. I mean, you can see that huge dip in it. I really liked this one. Honestly, it's probably about time for it to go. I don't use this one anymore. I always, I always reach for my blonde one. So I think with all the other products I have kept for the brows, I'm going to keep the taupe one and I'm going to get rid of the light brown finally. Again, I think I got this at the same time I got this guy. You know, these were like my first two brow products. So two things left, the Milani and medium brown. I was going to keep it because I wanted to have, you know, different choices for brow pomades. I just don't think this color is quite right. I always reach for my tattoo studio or my elf one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this as well. Now this wonder brow pencil, if you've watched any of my trying to project pan videos, I was trying to pan this. It's this, like there's barely any product left. If I roll this rest way out, it will fall out. It's like loose in the container. But every time I've worn this since it's been in my project pan, I, I've worn it almost every day and I have not liked the way my brows look at all. I don't know if it's the shape. I don't know if it's the color. It also has a brow gel, which is about gone. I've like used this all up in a couple of, you know, weeks. I wanted to finish this, but I, 
I'm not enjoying this. I don't think this looks good on me. I think there's something about the color. Like I said, I don't know what it is, but it does not, it's not sitting right in my brows and I don't like the way that it looks. So I am actually going to declutter this instead of forcing myself to finish it. And I didn't think I was going to do that, but having it in with all these other products, I just don't want to finish this. So the Wonder Brow is going to go. Now I'm not going to pull everything back up here, but here are the things that I am getting rid of. So we've got a couple of pomades. We've got a couple of powders. And these are all just things that I look at this and I'm not ever going to grab one of these over anything else in that basket. So these are all going to go from my brow collection. Now I will say that is way more than I was expecting to get rid of. So let me pull up my, we'll just do mascara next because it's right next to me. Here are all of my mascaras, plus a couple that are still brand new, but were extras. All right, so let's go through here and see what we've got. Okay, we'll start with the obvious one first. I'm gonna keep my Lash Paradise. I'm going to put this into my collection. I just finished one up, but I do know that once I open this, I have to use it in like five minutes or it'll be dried out. If you use Lash Paradise, you know what I'm talking about. So I am gonna keep this one. Now these are newer to me, these, this Maybelline and, yeah, both Maybelline, Lash Sensational Sky High. Yeah, this is very new to me. I've tried the waterproof and I didn't love it. So this is the non-waterproof. And this I bought for my like old school makeup tutorial, how I used to do my makeup. And this is the Maybelline Full and Soft. It's brand new. I'm going to keep it and, you know, probably layer it up with some other things, but try to use those. Now, all of these Essence ones are staying. They're all newer. I got them at Christmas time. I think these four came in a set, and then I bought this one on its own. So I am keeping all of these, all favorites. I love all of these. My top two are oops, the pink and the green. If you're going to go for anything, the curl and volume and the false lash effect paired together are amazing. The waterproof one is not my favorite. It's a little bit of a chunkier formula. It's not like getting dried out or anything. It just isn't the same. It just doesn't do the same thing that its counterpart does, the non-waterproof green one. So they're all pretty good, but the pink and the green are definitely my favorite. Keeping all of those. Let's just start with the one falling out in the middle, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. Oh my goodness, Butterfingers. Now I used this today and this is looking a little bit chunky. So I do have two backups of this. I might throw this one out and get one of those out. It's one of my favorites and it always is a thicker mascara. That's why I like it. It's not watery, but this one's looking a little bit, a little bit chunky. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one, but I am going to pull in one of my backups from my other drawer. Okay. This is also brand new. I just pulled this out of my backups. I didn't have one of these in here. So this has not even been opened yet. So I'm definitely keeping this one. This Mac one is okay. I don't know what it's called. It just says black on the bottom. It came in one of those like travel kit things from TJ Maxx. And it came with like eyeshadow and a blush that I use as a bronzer. So this is fairly new to me as well. So I'm keeping this one. Another Essence one, the Volume Stylist. I absolutely love this, but it does dry out really quickly. This one's still good. Definitely keeping that, and I will continue to repurchase this one. The Essence ones are the only ones I'm repurchasing. The ones I have in here, I don't know why I have so many. In the time I've had some of these, I have bought multiple tubes of these. You know, like these are my holy grail, so I don't know why I have a zillion mascaras. This one is going to go. This is the Wet n Wild Big Papa. This came in a holiday set. Well, I guess I do know why I have some of these. <laughs> this came in a holiday set. Uh, I got it on clearance for like two bucks with, you know, an eyelash curler and something else. It seems like it's going to be pretty nice. It has a pretty thick formula. It's a natural bristle brush, but it will about poke your eyes out. It scratched my lash line when I've used it a couple of times and I'm like, I have no desire to use this anymore. It's still new. It's still good, but I don't want to put this on my eyes. So this is going to go. Okay. I think both of these are about done, like dried out. 
Yeah, I know this one is. This one's older. So I'm going to get rid of the Mega Slim from Wet n Wild. I do really like this. If I see this again, I may grab it because it is a really nice brush, but I'm getting rid of that one. The top's all broken and stuff. And this one, I don't know. I just haven't been reaching for a separate lower lash mascara. It looks like there's quite a bit of product left in here. So I'm going to keep this one for now and see if I use this in the next couple weeks. But I've just, I've just been using my Essence ones on my lower lashes. <laughs> on to this L'Oreal Voluminous Original. This one also, I used this in conjunction with my Lash Parrot, yeah, Lash Paradise the other day. So the Lash Paradise one was chunk city. It was awful. And I ended up throwing that one out. That's why I have the new one out. But I wore it with this one. But this one still looks good. This looks fine. So I think I'm going to keep this one and try this again without that one, <laughs> without that old chunky mascara. And we'll see how this one's holding up or if it's dried out yet, because it still looks like that perfect consistency. So I'm going to try to use this one a couple more times. Okay. The CoverGirl Super Sizer. I'm going to keep this one. This is also a newer one. It's a weird one to work with, but it really does lengthen your lashes. Like it doesn't look like much when you pull this wand out. It, there's nothing to the wand. It just has a couple spikes on it. You know, it's very strange, but it really does work if you can get the hang of the, like the twist of the wand. This CoverGirl Uncensored, I've had this for a while. I think this one's going to go. It's looking a little bit chunky, so that's going to go. This I've had for a very long time, the Superstar Fiber X. It still looks like there's plenty of product in here, but I feel like this just didn't do anything for me. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this. This was like an old school favorite in like the blue and silver tube. So this one I, I got and I don't think I ever really fell for it. So that one's going to go. Actually, we'll go to these waterproof ones. I have three waterproof mascaras besides my blue essence one. This is the Colossal Big Shot. And this kind of gives me the same issue that the Big Papa one does where it's a really hard wand for being just like natural bristles. And I love the packaging on this so much. I want this to work and it never does. So honestly, I think I probably should just get rid of this. I never reach for it. I want to, like I am drawn to this packaging, but I never use this. This is going to go. The same for the Rocket Volume. Really cute packaging. See, there, there's still like a lot of product in these. I just don't use waterproof mascara very often. And if I were going to keep one, I think I would keep this one because I love the Lash Sensational ones. It is getting to be summertime and that's when I'm going to want waterproof mascaras, you know, going to the pool, going to be outside just living in the heat. I do think I'm going to keep both of these for now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one, but I think I'm going to keep both of these. This is actually in the shade. I think this is in the shade brown black and then and this is a true black. I think I'm going to keep both to have a couple of waterproof ones for the summertime because this one is also waterproof, but like I said, I feel like this one will be dried out shortly. So I'm going to keep those. Now these two actually go together. Like this is the lash primer and this is the Milani highly rated mascara. And I can tell you, I probably wore this twice. This is still like a full tube of mascara. I kind of want to try the primer. I don't know. This is just looking a little chunky in the tube and that tends to not be my favorite. So I think I'm going to keep the primer actually to try out and I'm going to get rid of the mascara. Now for these guys, what's weird about these CoverGirl ones is that they look dried out from the start. Like you open it and there is not much to this. They just look empty. You know what I mean? The brush doesn't hold a lot. I don't know what to do with these. These I kind of want to keep. Now that one looks absolutely dried out. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Maybe I'll keep the orange one. I'm going to, not I've molded over for an hour and a half. I'm going to keep these two and see if I use them. And I'm going to get rid of the purple and the green. Okay. So for mascara, these are the ones I'm getting rid of nine mascaras, but I am going to replace this one with its backup in my collection. So these are all going to go. 
upon further reflection, as I was putting everything else away, I did decide to go ahead and also declutter these. I have some of my absolute favorites right now. The CoverGirl Exhibitionist, the Lash Sensational, the Essence ones, mascaras that is, in my collection right now and I'm not gonna use these over those. Those are my absolute top mascaras. So I am going to declutter the primers. I've just not been into the eyelash primer lately. The Lash Discovery. Some of these are a little older. Some of these are newer, like barely used, but I just didn't like them. So, and this brow product, I do like the color and it is, it works fine, but the top of this is so, so, so tiny. I just don't use this over my elf one and they're almost exactly the same color. So all of these are also going yay me. Here we have eyeliner. These are pencil eyeliners and these are liquid and gel eyeliners. Now I will be completely real. Most of these are probably going to stay. I love having, you can tell like a lot of them are different colors, a lot of things going on here. I love a colorful liner in the waterline. A lot of these are going to stay. My liquid liners, I've started having mixed feelings about. <laughs> so we're going to go through it. We'll discuss. We'll figure out what's going on. So I'm going to start with, I guess we'll start with the pencil liners because they're taking up everything here. I am keeping every single LA Girl liner that is in here and the rest of the things we will figure out. Let's scoot these over a little bit. So starting out here with these, we'll just kind of pick up a little handful and go through them. Okay. I'm keeping all of these here. These are all LA Girl. I have a couple of the pastels, a couple of the lip liners that I use as eyeliners. That's what a lot of the reds and pinks are. I have never had any irritation. I've never had any issues. They've always worked using them that way. You know, use it your own discretion, but all of these right here are all lip liners. And I love them all in the waterline. So keeping all of these. I have a couple from ColourPop and uh, they, they're very good as well until they dry out. And these two are still good. I just had them out recently. So keeping both of those. So I'm going to pull out the ones from LA Girl again, keeping all of these, the Shockwave eyeliners. You can get these on their site. You can get these at Ulta. You can get them at, you used to be able to get them at CVS. I don't know about now for, you know, five bucks. Excellent, excellent deal if you're looking for a good eyeliner. Now on to these. I have the Milani Moss Boss. This was a newer one for me. I got from TJ Maxx. So I'm going to keep that one. These cargo ones. I actually picked these up at Dollar Tree or Dollar 25 Tree. I've not even used all of these yet. These are very, very new to my collection. They all swatch really nicely, except for this one looked a little iffy, but I've not even had a chance to use them all yet. So I'm going to use them before I make a decision on those. So they're staying for now. This Essence one, the Extreme Lasting. I love this pencil for a long time. This was my holy grail. I probably owned four or five of these, like used them up and purchased another one. I don't know if they sell this anymore though, the extreme lasting pencil, but keeping that for sure. I have two from Laura Geller. These are just like the dark brown long wear eyeliners. These are really, really good. I love these on the lower lash line because I can kind of use it as like a smudgy liner slash shadow look. So I am keeping those. They are both brown, but they're different colors. This is gilded bronze coal, and this is dark brown. They look very similar on the eyes, but I am going to keep both. All right, I see some more LA Girl here, so we'll pull those out. Again, love. My two favorite shades right now, I think, are the metallic ones in Dragon and Ocean. Absolutely amazing. I wore this mint green one the other day. And these show up like this color, the mint green, the lime green, the bright blue. I mean, so, so, so good. So there are those keeping all of those. I actually could probably get rid of everything except for my LA girl and be happy with it. I mean, realistically, but I'm not going to do that since I have the others, but I don't really buy eyeliner anymore. I know I picked up those ones from Dollar Tree, but I don't buy like any other eyeliners anymore. 
Now the other brand I was curious about is this NYX, the NYX Epic Wear. I found this at, where did I get this from? I think I got this on clearance at Walmart for like a dollar or two. And I wanted to try the formula because I've heard that these are also amazing, you know, very comparable to the LA Girl. And I'm like, NYX also has a bunch of colors, which is what I look for in an eyeliner. I don't need, you know, black, brown, whatever. I have one or two of those, I'm good. But the funky colors, so I'm trying out this NYX one to see if I need to buy all the other colors of it or not. <laughs> okay, I have a couple more from ColourPop that are still trucking along, so I'm gonna keep those. And these are two more from the Pastel Dreams collection from LA Girl, keeping those. And these are all like the uh, auto pencils. I actually prefer the sharpenable ones. I think that they are, I think that they stay fresher longer. You know, like you can just sharpen it and it's like nice and creamy and smooth again. These do start to dry out a little faster and they're just not quite as pigmented. So I actually prefer the ones that you sharpen. Now we're getting down to the randomness. So let's see. I also have these LA Girl glide liners. I'm going to keep those as well. Like I said, it is my favorite brand. I have all the different kinds of them, but I don't like these as well as the shockwave. I don't think these are as richly pigmented and as long lasting. So I would recommend the shockwave over the glide gel liners. But if you liked the colors of this better, then, you know, these are also very good. But they don't have many other colors. Like this is kind of it in these. They're a more basic line, you know, black, brown, a green and a blue too, but that's about it. So I am keeping all of those, but the shockwave ones are my top, top, top. I have two from Besame that came in the uh, Marilyn Monroe collection, a white one and a brown one. And these are actually really, really good. And I say that like I'm surprised because these just feel like is a really lightweight just wooden pencil and I thought yeah right like that's gonna do anything they are super pigmented and really really easy to apply like that's the white one and this is me like barely holding on to this pencil and it's amazing pigment so definitely definitely keeping those two surprised I made it this far without drawing on myself until this point I have a bunch of Laura Geller liners now I bought these all in a set and for a long time, these were like my favorite, favorite things. They last forever. It says waterproof gel eyeliner. And I absolutely think that they are waterproof, but these are all really dark. Like even this green one, as you can see by my other, my other eyeliner choices, I really like a pop in the waterline. So for a pencil liner, I'm not a huge fan of like this really, really, really deep shade. So kind of think I'm just going to get rid of these. You know, I just, they're, they were my favorite for a long time and they just aren't anymore. Let me think about those. I'm going to see what else I've kept. That's like this color. A couple I know can go these Maybelline lasting drama light liners. These barely show up in my waterline. I kept it the last time, but they're just this weird, like it's metallic. And so it should be lighter, but I don't know. I always reach for my LA girl ones always. So I think that these two are going to go. I think those are our first two declutters <laughs> out of this section. These two from Rimmel can go again. If I have it in a LA girl color, I know I'm not going to pick this over that. So these are going to go. I just bought this one very, very recently. The CoverGirl perfect blend for my old school tutorial. So I'm going to keep this. This is like very, very new. So I'm going to keep that one. This essence gel waterproof eye pencil. I know that this is old, but this still works so well. And it is such a beautiful teal color. I am definitely keeping this one. I think these two can go. These are from the CoverGirl queen collection. When was that? Again, that really dark green shade, which is pretty but I don't normally reach for that kind of dark shade in my waterline. So these two are going to go. And I keep mentioning putting it in the waterline because I put liquid and gel on the top lash line. I don't use pencils hardly ever on the top lash. This Milani one, the stay put liner in this blue shade, I always keep 
because it's pretty, but if I want a blue liner, I'm not usually going to reach for this. I'm usually going to reach for this one or this one or any other blue liner in there. So I think this Milani one is finally going to go. It's not my favorite. Like it's the stay put formula, but I don't feel like it stays as well as other things. Since I'm getting rid of that one, I am going to keep this one. These are my Maybelline lasting drama. Look how tiny these are. Before I discovered LA Girl, these were the ones I used always. I bought these little, the Maybelline Lasting Drama pencils and they were full size pencils when I bought them. <laughs> I am gonna keep these. I think these, if I'm gonna use a darker green or a, that blue, I'm gonna use one of these. So I'm keeping those. Those were my shock, shockwave liners before my shockwave liners. This is the Silkissimi from L'Oreal. I feel like this smudge is on me and for that reason I know I'm never going to use it so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay these Laura Geller eyeliners I think I'm going to get rid of. I have a green one, a purple one, a shiny black one, a brown one, and a regular black one. But I have the corresponding colors in all of my LA Girl or all of my ColourPop or all of the other things I just put back in there. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. So here are my pencil liners that are going 13. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, I kept a lot, but I, t I knew that I would, I do use a different one every single day. All right. Sliding these guys in here. Now my eyeliners, my liquid eyeliners. Recently I repurchased this very recently within the last like two weeks. I had fully used up my waterproof one. I fully used up my regular one and I repurchased this. This is incredible. It is a brush tip liquid eyeliner. Not to mention it has adorable packaging. I feel like I keep holding on to other things like, oh, I'm gonna reach for those. I don't ever reach for them. I used my Stila one the other day and this smudged on the inner corner. I used my NYX one the other day, which these are my other two favorites and it smudged on the inner corner. But I do like the applicators of these. I prefer a pen. I'm 100% keeping this one. Now for these two, I kind of want to try them one more time because like I said, this one, they're not empty and maybe they've just gone bad. See, they're all really like still good, but they did smudge. So I'm definitely keeping these three and I'm going to see how these two do. I might replace this one. I might get another NYX one to try because I really do like the, the end of this one as well. It's a little bit stubbier. So sometimes I actually prefer this one over this. This is a little bit longer. So these three are staying. These two are on the chopping block, but this one's definitely staying. So I'm keeping those three and I'm going to just leave those over there to remind me that I'm keeping those, that I like those more than the rest. I'll see on my hand, none of them are smudging. So I know I have really watery eyes and I think that definitely plays into it. Now looking at what we have left, this is actually really new. This is like a little like polka dot applicator. I just got this from Walmart the other day. So I'm going to keep that to play with. It's called that's the point from NYX. So I'm keeping that one. That's new. These Laura Geller ones again, Loved them at the time. I used up one of these brown ones, but the pigmentation on these is not quite as strong as the other ones. Now this black one is pretty good, but the, that is green. <laughs> this black one is pretty good, but I don't necessarily love the applicators. Like these are really hard felt tips. So I think being realistic with myself, I am going to go ahead and get rid of these because I do like, I went out and bought this. I bought this when I have all of these because I didn't want to use these. So being realistic, I'm going to get rid of all four of these Laura Gellers. I'm also getting rid of the little pizza cutter one from Revlon. It's cute. It is really black. It works so nicely, but it's just weird to use. And I just don't want, I don't reach for that. Now, I do have a lot of these that aren't black. So let me kind of look at that. Okay. This CoverGirl one is just a black liquid liner. Really, really nice, really long wearing. I just don't reach for that over my pens. So I'm going to get rid of that. 
Um, I do want to keep the one from the balm, but this is probably the newest one. Whoa. So I think I'm going to keep these three. Actually, the Milani one's actually really nice as well. Okay. None of these are like a wear time issue. So that's kind of my problem where I'm like, they're good. I don't think I reach for this one much. Okay. I'm going to be going to be good. We're going to be realistic. I'm going to keep both of these, but I am going to get rid of the Milani one. So let's do that because I don't really love any of these with this kind of applicator. Plus this bite one is a pain to get out of this container, but these are much newer. Like you can hear that and much fresher than that one. So I'm going to keep both of these and get rid of the Milani. Now these are all different colors. I have a gold one, blue, gray, brown, blue, and pink. So these aren't things I use every day. I'm not constantly reaching for a pink eyeliner. That's kind of fun to have. So I think I'll keep the pink one. This gray one I actually used just the other day. It actually was really, really cool. Like it looked, I thought it was just gonna look like a light black. You know what I mean? Like just kind of faded. It actually is like a gray, gray color. It was really, really cool. I'm keeping that one for sure. The brown I'm going to keep because I don't think I even have, no, I don't have any pen liners that are brown with the Laura Geller ones being gone. So I'm going to keep that in case I want it. The gold one I'm going to keep just like that pink. It's just more for fun. You know, this is not an everyday item for me. So these are just those fun things that I got them on like a good discount. So I have them. We'll play with them. I probably don't need both of these blue ones. So let's see. Same thing. I'm going to keep the balm and get rid of the Milani. Keeping these. For my potted gel liners, I don't ever use these. I couldn't tell you the last time I picked one of these up and used it. Yet I keep keeping them because I think I need one. I think I need all of them. I think realistically, I could probably get rid of all of them. I, I kind of want to just, I want to have one of each color. Just like I kept the other eyeliner, I'm like, if I have it, then I know I have it, I can use it. And I'm not like, oh, I need to get one because I do that. You know, I see somebody else use them and I'm like, oh, I want to do that look. And then I'll go purchase something like this when I could just go to my drawer and grab it. I'm keeping the Maybelline Lasting Drama and getting rid of the Juvia's Place. They're just a little more dried out than these are. So we're going to keep those two. I have a black and a brown. And then all of these liquid and gel liners are going to go. 10 even. So I feel pretty good about that. So that is the end of this portion of my declutter. Let me pull up everything we're getting rid of. So these are all the things that are moving on to a new home. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will subscribe so you can be notified the next time we are doing our next declutter, which will be, I think I'm going to work on foundation and primers and sprays, powders, you know, all of that next face products. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.